not very often that Belgrave Station, the headquarters of the Puffingbilly Railway in the Dandenong Ranges, is a hive of activity on a Saturday afternoon. But it certainly was on October 22nd of 2022, as the railway was doing its very first trip in partnership with the Paradise Valley Hotel at Clematis between Menzies Creek and Emerald, taking 100 passengers to the award-winning pub by train for dinner. And what better way to do it but be hauled by the railway's most prized possession, 1928 Climax Locomotive, number 1694. This trip was the first public passenger train it has hauled in three years. The Climax is a geared engine, meaning instead of using its steam to directly drive its wheels, it is fitted with a gearbox like on a car with a crankshaft going to the front and rear bogies to drive the engine via crail and pinion gears on the axles, giving the engine low speed but very high horsepower, making it perfect for the place it was built for, which we will get to a bit later. After Locomotive 8A has shunted its five car concerts, the Climax backs onto its train. Meanwhile, former South African Railway's NGG-16 class Garrett No. 129, built by Bayer Peacock in 1950, arrives at Belgrave East Loop with the luncheon train from Lakeside. It will cross 1694 and its train at the loop being the first ever cross of these two non-indigenous locomotives of the Gembrook line. Running a few minutes behind time, 1694 and its five car consist of Crestry route cars depart Belgrave and run into the loop to pass the NGG before continuing on to Comatus. Thank you. 
Belgrave Yard clear, 129 makes a spectacular standing start on the 1 in 40 grade as it arrives into Belgrave Station. We are at Selby or Road, just past Selby, for our first trackside shot of the Climax, running at a sedate 5 miles an hour. stop to raise steam at the side of the landslide was necessary, so we took the opportunity to get the locomotive climbing away from the stop for the final climb into Menzies Creek, the first and only intermediate stop before Clematis.
Still only four minutes behind time, the train arrives at the small village of Menzies Creek. Here, safe working requirements will be undertaken, along with watering the engine before the short downhill run to Clematis begins. Our final shot on the down run is at the first crossing over Belgrave General Road, just before Clematis. Acclimators, passengers disembark and make their way to the hotel for their meals, while the crew run 1694 around the consist, ready for the return trip back to Belgrave later in the evening. This operation of using Clematis as a runaround loop has not been done for many years, mainly thanks to rolling stock being stored here during normal operating days. The history of the Climax is quite complicated. The engine was built for the Forest Commission's Tyres Valley Tramway in Gippsland near the Victorian Railway's Moe de Wall Halo Line in 1928 by the Climax Company in Pennsylvania. It was used to haul timber to the railhead with the Wall Halo Line at Colman Siding, just south of Erica, a distance of about eight miles. When the tramway closed in 1949, it was moved to the Erica Sawmill where it lay derelict for over 15 years before the Puffing Billy Preservation Society obtained a loan for, for it from the Commission 
to have it as an exhibit at the Menzies Creek Museum, which was then under construction. From 1965 to 1981, it was on display at the museum, prior to volunteers, who had just finished the rebuild on 8A in 1982, decided to return 1694 to service. During the restoration, the locomotive was sold by the Forest Commission to the railway for the grand total of $1. After six years of work on the engine, it returned to steam in September 1988, just in time to play in part during the Austeam 88 Festival the following month. Over the following 13 years, the locomotive was used occasionally during various special events such as the Old Time Festival, wood collection trains and the commission special. However, by 2001, the locomotive's boiler was nearing the end of its life, which had already been known for a number of years, and it was withdrawn from traffic in April that year. Two years later, fundraising began for its complete restoration from the wheels up, quite literally. 2004 saw the restoration begin, and over the following nine years, the boiler got reconditioned in America the axle issues which had plagued the engine from the beginning, along with numerous other things, were rectified prior to the locomotive returning to service in September 2013. Since then, barring pandemics, the engine has continued its role as a living, breathing example of one of the rarest types of locomotives in the world.
At 8pm, the train departed with its 100 passengers back on board bound for Belgrave, just after dusk with rain falling not long after departing from Ames. A short time later, the special arrives in thick fog into Menzies Creek, and following safe working requirements, the special will complete its journey back at Belgrave, following a, following a fantastic evening out behind Climax 1694. We hope you have enjoyed this video and maybe you have learned something about the railway or this fascinating locomotive. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe and we will see you next time on 762 Media.